Hello, my name is Edmund and I would like to welcome you to my collectible world. Today I'm going to do things just a little bit differently, meaning I'm going to have a special guest panel that's going to help out with this review and unboxing. So more on that in just a few minutes. Now, anyway, today I am reviewing this Mizzy doll. This one's called Mizzy the Artist, which was one of the souvenir dolls from the 2020 Mizzy convention. Um, last time I tried to unbox one of these, it was a little bit difficult, so I am going to uh, see how this goes. Let's get this open. Uh, it's a little tight again. Uh, yeah, it's a little tight. It's kind of difficult to get this out honestly without damaging the box a little bit. As you see, it kind of bent the box a little bit. I guess I should be a little bit more gentle, but I really want to get this doll out of the box. And here she is. Wow, she's beautiful. All right. As I said before, this is uh, one of the Mizzy dolls, but this is actually the Lily uh, sculpt. So anyway, I'm going to get her out of this box and we're going to take a closer look at her and see how she looks. All right, let's get started looking at our Mizzy collectible doll. Now on the bottom it says JHD Toys, Mizzy doll convention 2020, the artist, and ah, uh, we've got a address here www.mizzydoll.com where you can find out more information on this doll line so anyway let's take a look and see what she looks like so oh before we do that look like we've got a little booklet here uh jhd toys mizzy collectible doll ah, and it looks like the booklet shows us some of the different dolls that Mizzy offers and it looks like actually this is the one that we'll be looking at today so we'll see how nicely she uh, looks compared to the image here so I'm very excited to see what she looks like let's see on the other side of this booklet ah uh, the Adonis doll which I am very excited about this the fashion male doll line they are the male part of the Mizzy universe. And then, of course, uh, the bodies of the Mizzy dolls, the original Mizzy body and the fashion model Mizzy body, which is the what the artist is actually featured on. And then, of course, the designer of the Mizzy doll right here. All right, so let's see if I can get her open. I've got these big giant man hands, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to do. Just taking a look at her right here in the box, she looks really beautiful, and I'm loving that wave on her hair. Um, I am not really good at hair, so when the hair comes out really nicely like this, I get excited. So I'm going to see if I can start undoing some of these strings. And she looks like she is secured pretty nicely in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, these are knots here. Can I get this out without cursing? I'm going to try. And I'm also going to try to do this in a professional manner, not in the manic manner that I sometimes do when I am not on camera. Camera. One of the good things about the Mizzy doll is that her, look at those hands actually. Look at that. That looks really cool. But anyway, like I was saying, one of the good things about the Mizzy doll is that her hands come out. So if I'm having trouble getting things out like this, then I can just shake those out and Put her back together again nicely. All right, let's see if we can get this one out as nicely and drama-free 
as the other. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm going to use one of my little quick tricks, which is to just remove the hand. And there we go. And hopefully we should be able to have her out of the box in a minute. Uh, it looks like she comes with a set of pantyhose or tights. I like that they're in a little Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put these off to the side for now. And it also looks like she comes with a pair of shoes. Now, uh, the shoes are actually pretty cute. I'm loving that they've got those red bottom right there. It's really pretty, but it's got long strings. I'm not really good at tying shoes. I may not use these shoes. Um, but they're cute. We'll see. I'm going to put these off to the side and see if we can get her feet now untied. Look at me. I'm getting better at this. All right. Woman, thou art loosed. There she is. This is a super pretty doll um let's see oh these are shorts these are not like i thought this was going to be like a dress dress but it is not let's see oh we've got a band here keeping her legs together that seems like tyranny to me so let's get this woman unbound there we go much better All right, really pretty doll. One of the things I also want to point out is these are these earrings here. Uh, the earrings, I usually don't notice the jewelry on a Mizzy doll. Um, they usually don't stand out to me all that much, but these are actually really pretty. And I'm really liking the screening that she's got. It's very, very vibrant. Um, this again is the uh, Mizzy doll, but this is the Lily Sculpt, and this is the artist. There were only 190 of these made, and I love that she comes with this hairnet. Her hair seems like they've, uh, it's, it's still, it's a little stiff, but still soft. I like that because I don't have hair skills, so I need it to be able to last, and let's take a look. Oh, the skin color also is called um, very white, I believe, or is it pale white? I'll have to take a look at that. Um, and the hair is black. And let's see, what else does she come with? She comes with a stand. And let's see, now if I can get this out in a good Christian manner. Um, I don't know if I can do that without damaging the box. Oh, look, tearing a little bit. So you have to be really careful. I don't have a lot of patience. This doll I'm actually going to be keeping. I'm not gonna be reselling. So I don't have to be as neat with the box as I normally would want to be. See, aha, uh -huh. see, I have to keep this one. Um, but if you're, you know, I like to keep my dolls, but some people like to take a look take them out um, and try to make sure that they don't damage it just in case they're going to sell it later. This doll actually is super pretty and she's not going anywhere, I don't think. Well, we'll find out. Um, anyway, I probably should have been a little bit more careful with that box. Um, and this stand that comes out. Okay, yeah, I'm going to remove this part off camera just because who cares, but yeah, I'm gonna tear it up if I try to do it nicely. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to see if I can get these pantyhose on her and the shoes. And we're gonna come back, take a look at this doll and review her with my special guest panel. Can't wait to, for you to meet them. So I will see you in just a second. Now the power of video magic. Oh, did I have the fan the wrong way? Oops. Ooh, now the power of video magic. <laughs> All right, YouTube magic. So 
George here has a little announcement. Now, I noticed something about the Mizzy Dolls uh, pantyhose. These are pantyhose and these are shorts. So which means I'm gonna have to remove the outfit in order to get these on. So George is here to let you know that if you are faint of heart, under 14 years old, this video is not for you. You're about to see doll nudity. This doll is about to be bucket naked. So just letting you know. All right, kids are gone. Thank you, George. All right, so let's take a look at Mizzy. Now, I've already unhooked these, but I thought it would be a good chance for you to see these. So these are the hooks that they have. These are actually very, actually high quality. Um, a lot of collectors prefer it. Um, I'm not one of those, honestly. I like a good snap button because I've got these big hands and these little delicate things are a little bit hard for me to do. So I have to sometimes use tweezers and things in order to get these hooked back in. But I thought I would show you that. Um, also, this was a good opportunity for me to show you what the... Uh, Mizzy body looks like. Well, this is actually, what do they call it? The fashion model body. So, I'm going to remove these. And I'm also going to pretend that my neighbor's dogs aren't barking outside and causing a ruckus because I don't feel like refilming this again. So anyway, this is the body. It's actually quite pretty. I feel like I've seen this body before portions of this body somewhere i don't know but it's actually really pretty so anyway we're gonna get these pantyhose on her and let's see hmm, these little side seams here now mizzy does not come with panties she is not a modest girl Okay, just letting you know. Maybe I should put these the other way. What do you think? The other way? Yeah, the other way. Anyway, I'm going to get her redressed, uh, but I just wanted to take this opportunity uh, to show you what the body looked like and also just to let you know that the pantyhose do not come on the doll. You have to put those on yourself. Now, the thing is, to me, this as a professional collector, that kind of tells me that there's a chance that these pantyhose might stain. So I don't want to leave these on the doll uh, long term. If I'm going to photograph her or have her posed up for like maybe a, a week, <laughs> I don't know, a couple of days, I don't know. I would not feel really comfortable with leaving the pantyhose on here. If any of you guys have any issues with the pantyhose staining, please put uh, your comments down below and let me know. But I'm going to get her dressed and we'll be right back. Again, where's my magic fan? Oh, yeah. Magic. Let me put the doll down. Matt. wait. But magic. So as a collector, I realized that I look at my collecting from two different approaches. The first is, of course, the doll or figure itself. The second is the accessories and or outfit that it comes with. So with that in mind, I present to you my panel to discuss these issues. First off, ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Visage. No, I'm just kidding. This is actress, singer, model, star, empress of Edmonton, Janae Hu, Alyssa Rodriguez. Welcome. Also, fashion doll icon and first lady of Mattel, Barbie Millicent Roberts. And of course, we have Glamazon Extravaganza RuPaul by Integrity Toys. All right, welcome ladies. All right, let's take a look and let's review what you think of both the doll 
and the outfit. Alyssa, I'll start with you. Your thoughts? Mm-hmm. So you say that you like the outfit. You think that it'll fit on the new face body for integrity toys. That sounds promising. Uh, what do you think of the doll herself? Um, Alyssa, that's not nice. I like her. All right, Barbie, let's talk to you. What are your thoughts on this doll and this outfit? So you say, oh, you say, oh, lovely doll. And you also say the outfit is cute. You said that you like the surprise that it's actually shorts on this outfit, not a full dress, I agree. You think this outfit would look great on you and a lot of your model muse slash pivotal friends, huh? Hmm, interesting. Mama Roo, what are your thoughts? You say she, th what? You sh say she looks like Manila Luzon? Well, I, I see, I guess I can see just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And you say, the outfit will not fit you or your color infusion friends, but it would probably look nicely on new face bodies. So, does that a keep? What are your thoughts, ladies? Okay, I am getting kind of a haterade feel from these girls. I don't know. Looks like everybody's clamoring for this outfit. The doll itself look at that wave how pretty is that let's look at the back of the outfit um i don't know if the girls are sold on the doll herself but guess what i'm the one who controls the money here so i have the final say so so before i give you my final verdict on the artist mizzy i wanted to first show you the shoes so you could see the detail so really cute bow in the front i like the way this thing is laced and of course you know i get all excited about the red side but with these long strings there's just no way that i'm going to be able to tie these beautifully but at least these are a little bit shorter than the usual ones that uh, i've seen uh, with the strings so anyway uh, back to mizzy so one last look at her and i love this like kind of tuxedo outfit it's just super cute and i think she is just superb with her vibrant screening the super white skin uh the black hair really beautiful so obviously this is the keeper i sensed a little hater raid from the girls they weren't so crazy about her i'm in love with her so Shantae, she stays, and of course, everyone was gagging over her outfit and wants to have a picture taken in this outfit. So, of course, that stays as well. So, anyway, thank you for tuning in today. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, let me know if you've gotten the doll. Also, one more thing. If you have any issues with the staining, let me know. It's actually quite thin, and I like this black stripe, so that's kind of cool. Um, but if you have any kind of issues with that, then just let me know in the comments. I'm going to probably take them off of her just to be safe. But anyway, thank you again for tuning in. And please subscribe and please like this video if you liked it. All right. Thank you.